This is my Francis Ford Coppola wine. I love this stuff. Francis Ford Coppola is one of my favorite directors. Director of The Godfather, Apocalypse Now, The Conversation, <clears throat> Bram Stoker's Dracula, Tucker. Um, some of the best movies ever made. He's one of my favorite directors, so I love this wine. Um, this bottle right here is the bottle that I used in the video that I made uh, when I did a scene from Twixt, Francis Ford Coppola's newest movie with Val Kilmer and Al Fanning. Um, I used this bottle in the video, uh, but I, I actually didn't drink it. I, was, I made it look like I was drinking it, but I didn't. The reason for that is because um, this is the second bottle. I had a first bottle that I was going to use for that video. And I did not have a wine cork bottle opener at that time. So, and I wanted to make the video, but I didn't have a wine opener. And I didn't have any money to buy one. So, what do I do? I use a knife <clears throat> and try to get the cork out with a knife. And it kept, I was jamming the knife in, it kept ripping the cork. And by the time I was done, it pushed the cork down and it into a million pieces and just cork was, there was a million pieces of cork in the bottle. So, I couldn't drink it. I wasted it. And I was really mad that I wasted it. And I also couldn't eat, do, use, the, use it in the video because not only could I not use it in the video, but I could not drink it because it was wasted. So, I, this was my second bottle and this was a bottle that I was like, I'm not going to ruin another bottle. So, I put this bottle in the video and what I was actually drinking was um, woodchuck, hard cider, and I just poured it off camera so you couldn't see it. <laughs> like I took this bottle off and poured that in a cup so you couldn't see it, so it made it look like I was actually drinking this, but I wasn't. I was drinking woodchuck because I did not want to waste another bottle. And I didn't want to, um, this I'm going to keep. I'm not going to drink this at all ever probably. I mean, maybe someday, but uh, I'm going to keep this. And I'm going to buy one. I'm going to buy another bottle, like this is a dark kind, the other one was like a light, like almost blue. It actually is funny if you watch the Twix video that I made, in the background you can see it sitting on my counter because I didn't throw it out yet because I I didn't want to throw it out, I didn't want to waste it, but I had to. But it was sitting on the counter, it was almost like a bluish, like a light bluish color. Um, so I want to get... I'm gonna have this bottle, and I just have. I'm just gonna keep it and display it. You know what I mean? Because I love the, you know, Francis Coppola. You know what I mean? So I just keep it to display it. I'm not gonna drink it. I buy a second one to put next to this. And I have a third one. That I'm gonna show you. It's in my room. Um, but this is. This was a bottle in the video. So. Francis Coppola Diamond Collection. Ivory label. I don't know anything about wines, so, <laughs> but I just love this wine now. And I love that when I found out that, uh, I just found out, uh, you know, a couple years ago, I'm walking to the liquor store and I see Francis Coppola on a wine bottle. I'm like, wait a minute, is that the, is that the director? I was like, I gotta have this, no way. So, so this is the one bottle. I'll show you the second bottle now. Here's my second bottle. I have this. This one's definitely for display. I'm never going to drink this one, probably. I have this one next to a picture of Marlon Brando from The Godfather. A fake, not fake, but a real grenade that has no, you know, stuff in it anymore. Uh, and a gun that's a lighter, a lighter gun. And this bottle. And this one is Francis Coppola, the director's 2011 Sonoma County and whatever's on the bottom there. So this one says director's. I was looking online, you can find something to say director's cut, which is really cool. I'd probably get one of them if I seen it, but. 
Well, this is like the one I had to put back here with this stuff. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna buy one more. This one will stay back here, and the other two will be out out there. So that's my Francis Coppola wine that I just love. But yeah, I didn't even know this stuff. I didn't even know this stuff existed. Yeah, actually, I don't know when they when they came out with it when he started it, but before a couple of years ago, I didn't even know it existed. So, and I'm sure a lot of people don't. Even you know, people who are fans of Francis Ford Coppola probably don't even know he has a winery. So, I think it's cool to show people, and you know, if they're a fan of him, maybe they'll go buy it. Like I like to try to promote it or something. But I just think it's so cool that he has his wine, you know what I mean? But that's, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even want to drink it just because it has his name on it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, any liquor store, I guess. I mean, um, both the liquor stores that I went to had it. They, there's actually a lot of different kinds of it. Uh, like, the one liquor store had, like, three different kinds and the other liquor store had four different kinds that were different than the other liquor store had so and if you go online there's a bunch of different kinds so like if you go to the liquor store they'll probably have at least one or two bottles of it. it might be different than this or it might be you know but I would assume every liquor store has it but yeah I just think it's so cool Francis Ford Coppola wine I guess you know could have with your Friends for a couple of movies. It's like an add-on, you know. Have the Godfather trilogy and then have the wine sitting next to it or something. I just think it's cool.